Hey, it's Marty from PastaGuy.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make another Italian vegetable pasta dish. This is rapini with orchiette. Rapini is uh, also called broccoli rabe. This is a, a very flavorful, green tasting vegetable. So if that's not your thing, then maybe this is too strong for you. But if you like it, you're gonna end up loving it and you're gonna crave it the rest of your life. That's the way it works with this. We're gonna start by sauteing a clove of garlic for each bunch of this. You can use more garlic if you want. I'm not an over garlicer. I, a lot of people love more garlic than I do, but um, uh, you know, I think it's unnecessary. But anyway, a big clove of garlic for each bunch I think is just fine. Um, we're going to have to clean this. Did I mention that? We're going to saute the garlic in olive oil, in extra virgin olive oil with some pignolis, pine nuts. And then we're going to saute the mushrooms. I'm going to use these portobellos. And we're going to add the rapini. And we're going to cook that down quite a bit. And as it's cooking, we're going to add salt and pepper and red pepper flakes. Now, we cook the pasta separately. This is orchiette. That's, that means little ears in Italian. And so these are a cup-shaped pasta. And these go really well with this dish. In fact, I probably wouldn't make it with any other type of pasta. We're gonna to top it off with some excellent imported Romano cheese. Buy the best stuff. This dish is worth it. So let's get started. I have the sink partially filled with cold water and you wanna wash these quite a bit, swish them around because they could have sand on them. What I do is you'll see that there are some broccoli florets on these, not many, but I strip the leaves off of the big stems and then I discard the stems. Collect the leaves and the florets and that's how you clean it. Just a side note, if you don't want to cook it right away, you can put it in plastic bags like this. Just squeeze the air out and then get as much air out as you can and zip it up all the way. And you can put it in the freezer for a few months. Finally chop the garlic. The sauce will consist only of oil and water, so you have to be generous with the oil. Add your garlic and your pine nuts. Don't let the garlic burn because it will get bitter. Then add your mushrooms. I'm using three large portobellos. Partially cook the mushrooms before we put in the rapini. You'll add as much as you can fit into your skillet, then let it cook down and add some more. This will start breaking down really fast. Just make sure the raw rapini is rotated to the bottom of the pan. Add a half cup of water to help it cook. Start boiling some water. Now let's add spices. Half a tablespoon, not a teaspoon, of salt. One full teaspoon of black pepper and a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Mix all that up really well, and if you have a cover for your pan, use it for about 10 minutes. Now our water should be boiling, so add some salt, about a tablespoon or more. We'll use a half a box of orchiette. This amount we're making is going to serve about five people. Keep stirring the greens and the pasta. When the pasta is al dente, put it into the greens and add about a half a cup of pasta water. Mix it in really well and let it cook just a minute or two longer. I didn't grow up with this dish, but first ate it at some restaurants in New York's Little Italy when I was in my 20s. One of the places said they steamed the greens over the top of burning oil and garlic with a little water added. It made it taste even stronger. It was really good, but I wouldn't suggest doing that in your house unless you have an industrial exhaust fan. Now I've heard of people putting sausage in it and tomatoes. This is the way I was introduced to it. This is the way I prefer it. 
It's a bold taste. It's peppery. It's very Italian tasting to me. And as I said, if you like it, you will love it and you will crave it. And this will be the only thing that can scratch that itch. So check out some of my other stuff. I have some great recipes and I need subscribers. Thanks a lot. Bye.